Okay, the answers to one through three are given. In number one, we were given the angle and you had to find the side. So using cosine, x was approximately 43.49. In number two, given the two sides to find the angle, you had to use the sine ratio. And on the calculator, remember, anytime you're wanting to find the angle, you have to use the inverse sine button. So the work would just be writing what it is that you're typing into the calculator. And then number three, given two sides of a right triangle, to find the third side, you can just use Pythagorean theorem. So all answers were rounded to the nearest hundredth, so x is approximately 6.24. This radical 39 is an exact answer. Okay, I'm gonna skip down to number five first and then come back to number four. Number five, okay, to find the distance, okay, to the nearest inch, how far the base ladder should be from the side of the building, that's x, okay, and to do that, given the adjacent and hypotenuse, we're gonna use cosine, okay, and then next, how far up the side of the building the ladder will reach, that's y, and to find that, we use the sine ratio. So the ladder should be placed about 37 inches from the side of the building and it will reach approximately 114 inches up the side of the building. Okay, now let's go back up and take a look at number four. In number four, we have to find AC to the nearest tenth. Okay, that's this segment right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna draw the altitude in this triangle, which will give us two right triangles. So we have the triangle on the right side. Okay, this is 22 degrees, this is 24, and given this is 90, this angle right here, 90 minus 22, is gonna give us 68 degrees. Okay, and I need to use um, this altitude x once I find this altitude, then I can look over in this triangle to find AC. So we'll first start by finding X. And then in this triangle over on the side, okay, in orange, if part of this is 68 and the total degree measure of that angle is 118, that means this angle here is going to be 50, okay? So now let's start by finding x. So given the angle of 22, we have opposite over hypotenuse, which is gonna be sine. So the sine of 22 degrees is equal to x over 24. And then x is gonna be equal to 24 sine of 22 degrees. And I'm gonna leave that in exact form. Okay, so this sign here is 24 sine of 22. Now using that side, and we need to find, given the angle, we're looking for AC, which is here. This would be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is the cosine. So cosine of 50 degrees equals adjacent, which is 24 sine of 22 over let's call that question mark um, x in this picture. Okay, so the x times the cosine of 50 degrees equals 24 sine of 22 degrees. Divide by the cosine of 50 degrees. Those cancel out and we have x equals 13.9868. 2567. So rounding to the nearest tenth, AC is going to be approximately uh, that eight is going to bump it up to a ten, so 14.0. Now I'm going to go back to the extra credit that we had in the day five warm up, which is number nine, because it's a similar process. We want to find AC, so we draw the altitude to give us two right triangles. Okay, I'm gonna call this x, this y, because length AC would be equal to x plus y. Given this is a 35 degree angle, I know this is 55, so that it adds up to 90, and since the whole is 88, 
this side must be 33, and then that would give me an angle of 57. So let's start in the triangle on the left. So given the angle, I'm going to use the angle of 35 that was given, and I have x, and then the hypotenuse 62, that would be cosine, because we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of 35 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So x is going to be equal to 62 times the cosine of 35 degrees, which is approximately 50.7874. Again, if you're good around, take it out to the 10 thousandths place, and you should be good at the end. Now in the triangle on the right, define y. Okay, um, I have this side, I don't have another side, so I actually am going to go back to this triangle on the left in green, and let's call this Z, so I can find Z. So the sine of 35 degrees, because Z would be directly opposite, is Z over 62. So Z equals uh, 62 sine of 35 degrees which is approximately 35.5617. Now that I know z and I'm looking for y, that would be the tangent ratio. So let me switch to red. So the tangent of um, I'll actually use 33 because it'll be y over z. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to put z in the denominator and the y in the numerator, which is the unknown, so it's simply just going to be that product. So the tangent of 33 equals y over z, which was 35.5617 rounded. So now I just need to do that cross product to find y. And we get y is approximately 23.0941. Adding the y together with the x, AC is approximately 73.9.